blessed day. Day to remember love. As much as I possibly can. Just remember the highest, you know, the most glorious, the most inspiring mode of being I can access. Love, and generosity of the heart. feel that, to feel this, this love that doesn't want to exclude anyone or anything. The nature of love has to be a full, a fully inclusive extension of myself, a giving of myself. <sighs> Without getting into specifics up here, you know, but to just be in that feeling. Sometimes we need help to access it so we think of loved ones or we think of sweet memories or we think of our pet or experience in nature and we access that feeling and we let it grow, that warmth. You know, it's like blowing on embers to restart a fire. Because unless we're totally emotionally dead, we have those embers inside of us of love and compassion and generosity. And they just need to be nurtured and we find ways to nurture them within ourselves. So I'm grateful that happened here this morning. So I can feel that, access that love. Remember why I'm here. Remember like how much meaning and purpose it gives my life. Because when I'm not in this state, sometimes it's hard, you know? Sometimes it's hard for sure. I mean, Look at all the things going on around us. It's easy to be um, distracted and uh, deflected. It's easy, it's easy to become demoralized. So how do I remoralize? Give myself the morale to live life it's like the most powerful, the most exciting thing to be in love and to just try to spread love. Because it's like my own world, you know? Like this beloved teacher, Muji, would say there are, there is one planet, you know, there's one Earth, but there are billions of worlds. So in my own world, am I just spreading love, being an agent of love? an ambassador of the heart. And then as, as my world starts to reverberate with that frequency, with that vibration, you know, not trying, but just allowing. Like another teacher of mine would say, this, this dear Ma, Saraswati Ma, she would say, don't demonstrate emanate. So it's not a trying, you know, because that, that comes from somewhere else, you know, it comes from down here, the solar plexus, or lower, there's like a pushing of, of me, and it comes from the mind, like the agenda of how do I do this, you know, but it's like, uh, you know, when it's, we know when it's just emanation from the heart. There's that quality to it.
feeling the love, being in the love, in the love. It's a gift that, you know, we give to ourselves. And everybody benefits. And when we're not in the feeling of love, it's harder, it's way harder. But can we choose to turn off the phone? Can we choose to um, take a warm bath and journal? And just explore what it is that's playing, that's keeping us from that. Because it's common. You know, for me, the past like three days, it's definitely been like this pull into to like shadow work. Or, and who knows if it's collective energy being felt, but there's just something that's just like uncomfortable, you know? There's like this low grade, like discomfort in the body mind, you know? And it's harder to like, to access this feeling of love, but we can go deeper into the feeling. Like I thought this thing I was writing in my journal, like, all right, distract. There's the tendency, the desire to distract, because the mind is like, this is uncomfortable. It's not going away and I want it to, so let me do something else. So there's the desire to distract, but what if we attract? In other words, we allowed ourselves to be attracted to that shadow, to that discomfort, and then see what it feels like deep at its level. Like I've done this before and I've noticed there's like a little vibration of bliss. There's like that little feeling of love, of self-nurturance and compassion just by being present with the discomfort and saying, it's okay, you don't need to go. You're here, and that's what's up. That's what's up, that's what's up. Oh. So. Remember in love today? Right now, feeling it, feeling the heart, just checking in with the heart. The one heart, I'll meet you there. Peace.